Fencer Musashi is a top-down action-adventure title released by Squaresoft in 1998. You play as Musashi, a smart-mouthed swordsman who has been summoned to the All-You-Can-Eat Kingdom to use the legendary sword Lumina to collect the five scrolls and save the land from certain doom. This game has you climbing mountains, getting lost in the woods, and hanging out in a quaint village. The sheer spectacle of these locations in this small but densely packed world is rivaled only by the diverse and powerful musical score, and that's what I'll be focused on today. The music of Brave Fencer Musashi was composed by Tsuyoshi Sekito, who you may not know by name, but you've certainly heard his work. He's worked as an arranger for several Final Fantasy re-releases, including but not limited to Final Fantasy VII Remake, and is a member of the Black Mages, a musical group comprised of some of the biggest names in Square's music department. Like many games of its time, the soundtrack of Brave Fencer Musashi uses sequenced music and instrument samples in the VAB format, which is kinda like MIDI. While composers like Nobuo Ematsu and Yasunori Mitsuda had already made a name for themselves with their larger-than-life scores, Sekito was just hitting his stride at this point. His work in this game leans heavily on heroic brass, high-flying woodwinds, and other big orchestral elements, while still leaving room for harps, acoustic guitars, and, well, there's a lot, you'll see. Let's start by taking a listen to what could be called the main theme, the Musashi Legend. Have you ever heard something more heroic than this? It's mostly brass with some string and woodwinds. The tubas and trombones carrying the bass line make it feel enormous, while the woodwinds suggest something youthful and whimsical. The snare drum encourages you to march forward, while the string runs are the wind in your sails. This song is scientifically proven to make you brave. The instrument samples used here are some of the best orchestral sounds that would have been available at the time, coming from the Roland SR JV8002. This is an expansion board for certain Roland romplers, with its focus being hyper-realistic orchestral samples with a wide range of options. I'll be mentioning this a few more times before we're done here. Next, the theme of our pleasant little hamlet, Grillin Village. This track is called White Cloud in the Sky.
As you just heard, Sekito isn't limited to just big orchestral pieces. This is essentially a perfect town theme. It may not be one of the most well-known top 100 RPG town and shop themes, but it certainly holds a special place in my heart. The gentle bongos, light woodwinds, and those little accents on the glockenspiel make this a perfectly fitting piece of music for the setting. And since you'll be spending a lot of time coming back to this town, the fact that the melody is catchy without grating on you is not just good composing, it's smart game design. And huge credits to the PlayStation's built-in reverb capabilities for its role in making this entire soundtrack feel so much more alive. But hold the phone. Brave Fencer Musashi has a day-night cycle, and at night, the town theme is different. The same familiar melody now played on a beautiful orchestral harp with that ever-present glockenspiel accentuating it. And what sounds like some kind of synth vocal pad, this gentler, sleepy time version of the song elegantly captures the feeling of being out and about under the moonlight. The simple fact that the song changes at night not only showcases more composing chops from old Sekito, but more good game design. I mentioned before that you'll spend a lot of time in this town, so cycling between two different tracks will certainly keep that from getting too boring too quickly. The samples used in both versions of this song come from the Roland SR JV8002, as well as most likely the Roland JV2080. I say most likely because many of the same sounds and instrument samples are shared across Roland's romplers, so things like the bongos, the fingered bass, and the steel guitar can technically be found on several different Roland products, and this could be from any one of those. Before getting to the last track, I have to mention three important names here. Yohei Kishimoto, credited as sound engineer and for the sound effects in this game. The sound design in this game is perfect and works beautifully alongside the music. Then, the sound editors Yuji Isogawa and Hiroshi Nakajima. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find much more information on the specifics of their jobs on this project, but it is likely that these four worked very closely together and helped facilitate one another's success. So, this beautiful score, while composed by Sekito, was probably made possible and elevated by the work of these other folks. Now I'd like to highlight one final track, Somnolent Forest. What an absolute killer of a track this is. Our hero, Tsuyoshi Sekito, once again shows us his incredible talent for crafting memorable melodies while nailing all of the accompanying elements. The percussion in this piece of music should not go unnoticed. Seriously, I can almost see someone sitting in the woods with a cajon playing along to this. The mallet instruments, that synthy ooh sound, it's spooky, catchy, and frankly unforgettable. And lest we forget the night version.
So what game soundtrack speaks to you the most? Let me know in the comments. I read every single one. Brave Fencer Musashi is one of my favorite games of all time. Not because it's a masterpiece or a giant of its era, but because it does what it sets out to do. Take you on a quirky, fantastical adventure complete with a diverse and heroic soundtrack. It's games like this, and specifically their scores, that inspired me to persist with music. That one day my own music might make some eight-year-old kid feel like the bravest hero the land has ever known, even if just for a moment. After all, that's what Sekito did for me, so why not pay it forward? In fact, I'd like to pay it forward to you. I created a sample pack and sound font inspired by the sounds of Brave Fencer Musashi, a collection of 40 plus PS1 style instruments that are designed to sound like they came right out of the game itself. Mono signal with short loop points and light compression. Nothing ripped from the game data, these are all original designs that I created myself. Oh, and it's 100% free. There is also an optional version for $1.99 if you want the same samples but in stereo at higher quality with more organic sounding loop points. <sighs> I wish I could talk about every single track in this game, like how when you rescue musicians the castle music incorporates their instruments into its music, or how every different shop has its own unique piece of music, or how each boss battle has its own unique theme that complements the element of the boss itself, or how- okay, I better stop there. This game, not unlike Mega Man Legends, which I covered last time, had a profound effect on me growing up. The story might be very silly, but that Saturday morning cartoon vibe combined with controlling the hero with my own two hands, and a soundtrack that far exceeded expectations for such a small game, well, I felt like maybe I could be a hero too. Ultimately, the music of Brave Fencer Musashi is remarkable and well-suited to the game's little world and all of its themes. If you haven't played this game yet, I sincerely hope you will give it a try now, even if only to experience the brilliant work of Tsuyoshi Sekito in the context in which it was intended. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out my coffee shop for a collection of free and affordable sound fonts that capture the spirit of classic games. Also, please consider joining the Patreon, where you'll get sneak previews of what I'm working on and beta versions of sound fonts and sample packs. Big thank you to my patrons for voluntarily choosing to help support what I'm doing with your own hard-earned money. Selena, Justin Hawes, Devox, Sample Text 64, McKay Voiles, Cryonic Sage 7719, Evan Troop, and Twilight Realm. One final thanks goes out to my Discord community. You folks are awesome. Thank you all so much for your support, and I'll see you next time.